subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Supernovae are one of the most fascinating phenomena in our cosmos. And why would it not be when a gigantic mass of burning gases that lasts billions of years finally comes to an end of its life, its death throes must be equally brilliant. Supernovae can briefly outshine entire galaxies and radiate more energy than our sun will in its entire lifetime. In fact, they are the primary source of heavy elements in the universe. According to NASA, supernovae are the largest explosions that take place in space. While much is already known about supernova, scientists have for the first time discovered a new type of stellar explosion, one caused by a dead star colliding into its life companion. In this episode, I talk about what supernovae are, how they form, and what is new about this rare type of supernova that was discovered by researchers from the US. I am Mohana Basu, and this is Pure Science. To understand how a star dies, we first need to understand what allows it to burn for millions of years in the first place. Stars begin their lives when hydrogen fusion ignites their dense and hot cores. Nuclear fusion basically converts hydrogen to helium with a release of energy. Now the dense mass in the star creates a strong inward pull that tries to squeeze the star down to a tiny point. But the energy released by fusion pushes outwards. The two forces create a delicate balance that can persist for millions or even trillions of years. Now, when the star begins to run out of hydrogen, that is its fuel, this balance is disturbed. The star begins to collapse into itself, eventually leading to a huge explosion. Depending on the size of the star, the supernova either leaves behind a black hole or a super dense neutron star. Black holes are created when the original star was massive. The collapse of the star and the gravitational pull is so huge that nothing, not even light, can escape it. Death of smaller stars lead to the formation of a neutron star, a very dense star made mostly of neutrons. There is another way that supernova may occur and this is something that happens in binary star systems which are two stars that orbit the same point. One of the stars may steal matter from its companion star, eventually accumulating so much matter that its inward gravitational pull exceeds the outward push created by fusion reactions. As a result, the star explodes, resulting in a supernova. But now researchers have found evidence of a new type of supernova that formed using a slightly different process. Astronomers have found dramatic evidence that a black hole or a neutron star spiraled its way into the core of a companion star and caused that companion to explode as supernova. While theoretical physicists had predicted that this could happen, this is the first time we've actually seen such an event. Now, how did astronomers discover this? The first clue came when the scientists examined images from the Very Large Array, an observatory located in central New Mexico, which detects radio signals of one centimeter wavelength in the sky. The Very Large Array Sky Survey, or VLASS, is a project that started in 2017 to map 80% of the sky in three phases over seven years. It is the third radio survey of the observatory in the last 20 years. Using its data, researchers found an object brightly emitting radio waves, but which had not appeared in an earlier VLA sky survey called Faint Images of the Radio Sky at 20 cm or FIRST. The object was designated VT121049564 and researchers began to study it further using the Very Large Array and the Keck Telescope in Hawaii. 
The team found that the bright radio emission was coming from the outskirts of a star-forming galaxy some 480 million light-years from Earth. They then realized that this emission was coming from the same object from which an instrument aboard the International Space Station had detected a burst of X-rays in 2014. The data from all these separate observations allowed the astronomers to recreate the history of a centuries-long death dance between the two massive stars. Like most stars that are much more massive than our Sun, these two were born as a binary pair, closely orbiting each other. One of them was more massive than the other and evolved through its normal nuclear fusion-powered lifetime more quickly and exploded as a supernova, leaving behind either a black hole or a super dense neutron star, and scientists are not yet sure which. The black hole or the neutron star orbit drew steadily closer to its companion and about 300 years ago, it entered the companion's atmosphere, starting the so-called death dance. At this point, the interaction began spraying gas away from the companion into space. The ejected gas, spiraling outward, formed an expanding donut-shaped ring around the pair. Eventually, the black hole or neutron star made its way inward to the companion star's core, disrupting the nuclear fusion, producing the energy that kept the core from collapsing with its own gravity. Now that the outward push created by the fusion energy was no longer there, the inward gravitational pull caused the core to collapse. It briefly formed a disk of material closely orbiting the intruder and propelled a jet of material outward from the disk at speeds approaching that of light, drilling its way through the star. That jet is what produced the X-rays seen by the instrument aboard the International Space Station in 2014. So this allowed the scientists to put a timeline on this death dance. The collapse of the star's core caused it to explode as a supernova. The star would have exploded eventually, but this merger accelerated the process. The material ejected by the 2014 supernova explosion moved much faster than the material thrown off earlier from the companion star. And by the time VLASS observed the object, the supernova blast was colliding with that material, causing powerful shocks that produced the bright emissions seen by the VLA. The discovery is fascinating for many reasons. For one, it confirms some of the existing theories about how dying stars behave. Essentially, we can say that even without observing these events, humans have guessed a lot of things right. This discovery also reiterates the importance of continuing to observe the skies. The very large array was built in 1980. The latest sky survey project was aimed at discovering transient objects such as supernova explosions that emit brightly at radio wavelengths. But the scientists had never expected to discover a stellar merger using this observatory. Over the last several years, our ability to detect gravitational waves have increased the possibility of learning more about interactions between massive cosmic objects. Collisions between stars, neutron stars and black holes can teach us a lot about the limits of physics, most of which we will not be able to observe in labs on Earth. This is Mohana Basu, Special Correspondent at The Print. If you like our work, do consider paying for a subscription to The Print. You can do so through the link in the description box below.